Welcome back, guys. Today we're going to be going for a test drive in a 1990 Mustang LX. This one here has a lot of receipts on the motor. I'll be showing that in the video. Also, the detailed pictures will go through those pages and show you all the information. Check out under the hood. Pretty sweet little horse. Aftermarket rims. Dual exhaust. Hey, if you want to haul your jet ski, it's got a trailer hitch. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I post videos like this all the time. We also have financing and shipping available. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, gonna check out the interior. Got a special guest with me today. He just came up. He's got his self a new Mustang too. Starting up, you can see the engine temperature's coming up. Oh, pressure is, oh yeah, that one's coming up. Okay, here's your temperature over here. It has not came up yet. Showing 73,000 miles, and the gas gauge is, uh, we're almost out, man. This one is working. Place your bets, do you think the horn works? The radio does, we're jamming. <laughs> AC? Compressor not doing anything to the R's there. I oh, guess I cut the wipers off all the way. This one has that weird spot right there because I used to own one of these. Uh, and we're going to have heat, but we're not going to have any AC in this car. So I'll be rolling down those windows. Let's check them out. It does work and it's pretty fast. Let's see the side. We're good and we got tent. Sounds sweet. Wonder if these old map lights work still. Uh, I could just need a bulb. I remember that being a kid. Sunroof? Is it locked? You gotta make sure this locks. We don't wanna, you know, be riding around and sunroof fly off. <laughs> I don't know if that locks completely. We we'll have to mess with it and try to get it to lock. In the back, they got a little fact sheet on the car here, it's pretty cool. Seats in good shape. Miss, this little piece always breaks on these. Uh, at one point I figured out how to fix it. Got the sunroof to lock. Even better, thanks man. Let's take off. Got you set up, you're sitting in the driver's seat now. Try to stay out of the picture with my nappy head. Let's see here. I was supposed to get a haircut, but you know. Right now, if you're watching this video, I'm sitting in Florida. <laughs> Pretty much. I will be. Uh, I leave today. Oh. Today's Thursday, the 20th. And I'm doing these videos ahead of time. With no AC, I ride around with the windows up in the summer. It's pretty hot in here already, isn't it? It's only 81. <laughs> but normal people don't drive around with the windows up. Yeah. Front tire, this car has been lowered. The front tire is grabbing on the fender. Engine temperature is coming up, the gauge is working. This car is going straight as an arrow, and as soon as I turn, it turns. Brakes. Yeah, they're stopping quick. That picture in the back, I'm gonna break it and stop it so quick. Kick down's hooked up. Get out the way! Now the horn does work on this one. I didn't try it before we left. Probably scaring people up here. <laughs> This one's got the Kenwood Equalizer too. That's pretty old school. Hey, if you want to use your Bluetooth, just shove it in the tape deck. There you go. Wonder if this was the old cop radar. I found one of these yesterday, and since we're going to Florida, I stuck uh, Escort is what I had. I had a nice one back in the day in high school. Yeah. And I stuck it up in the, I got a little custom van. We swap around up here at the lot. I stuck it in the dash last night. Felt so cool. 100% stopping at the gas station because I need something to drink and the car does too. Yeah. Turn signals are popping up on the dash. They are working. Power steering pumps. A little whiny. I'm going to check it out. We'll uh, check the fluid when we get back to the lot and see if it's low. Hopefully that's all it is. 
Oh, you can't be out of gas on the. That's what's happening. We sucked it dry. We'll go this way. Well, let me think here. What side was the gas tank on? Yeah, that side. So far, so good. Car's been lowered down. The rims do rub on the underside of the fender. And uh, other than that, we got a power steering noise. Let's get some gas. Just put about $20 worth of premium fuel in this Mustang. Put the gas in right here. Gas cap still nice and secure in there. Let's go ahead and check the gas gauge. I do believe this one's gonna work. But hey, you never know, sometimes these cars surprise me. It's already on the way up too. This one was dead on E. It's coming up to almost half a tank. Let's take off. So he's got a button over there that's out on the power window, but this one's working. But it's hot, so I guess we'll leave it down. Engine temperature is good on this one. It's below average. Um, oil pressure gauge is wanting to work, you know, but it only works when it wants to work. Uh, you hit it and it goes up. That gauge is not working right. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a crazy gauge. Oh. I don't think that's got, but he did remind me to put my seatbelt on. Yeah. Probably need that. Can't ride this fast. So far, so good. You know, for it being lowered, it's nice and smooth. A lot of times, lowered rides will put my head into the ceiling. Well, out the sunroof in this matter. <laughs> I wonder if the steering wheel's still good. No, the steering wheel's eat up. That's why they put the cover on it. I wonder if the set Excel. Let's see if the uh, cruise control works. I think I got it on.
Cruise control is not working on this one. I tried, tried my hardest. <laughs> I like that. Look, they got a shell sitting up in the air over here. Check it out, guys. That's pretty cool. You reckon that might be? First gear. Shifting out nice and smooth. And that was the bumpiest road of the ride and it wasn't even that bad, so I think we're good. Sweet, this has went well. The lights don't work on the furry mirror. Nope, we got one. Uh-huh. It's of probably the... Connections? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now it doesn't want to work now. We can go now. <laughs> what do you say we get on it through here? Oh yeah, and the brakes work great. <laughs> the brakes work great, you know. Oh, yeah. The picture frame doesn't uh, want to stay up, but at least it's tough. I want to leave that at home. It's coming out in the back a little bit. Well, I'm not gonna get on it anymore. We're gonna do a walk around video now, and uh, this was a great test drive. You oh, think? Yeah. Thanks for joining me today, man. Thanks for having me. All right, we're gonna do a walk around now, point out all the flaws on the outside. All right, so this one here has a faded paint job. It does have some little stuff pulling out here on the edge on the front bumper. It's probably the worst part on the whole car. But I'm gonna be walking around still, looking around, showing you all the little flaws, mainly looking for dents, rust, uh, because the paint job is very faded on this one. So I'm not gonna focus on chips. No reason to focus on chips, it needs a paint job. But we will check out the interior and try to give you a good description on this one. Starting up here in the front, you see the headlights, got a little bit of clear coat, got a fading on it there. They look pretty good. Uh, you got a little chunk missing here on some of your trim. Looking around the front, you see all the little cracks. That front end. Coming down the side here. See all the chunks missing in the paint. Coming up over the fender. Looks like it's got good tires. This thing is very close. That's why it was rubbing. Missing your emblem. Down this lower portion. Up over the back. Back tires are a little weak. Back down the mid section. See, that's kind of dried out there. Lots of little cracks and chips on all your trim. Front windshield's in good shape, doesn't seem to be all messed up. down the back portion seal around the back to do it good hydraulics in the back are working great on this trunk lid you've got some rust popping up on this edge i've seen that in the back too coming on down with this see where that rust was coming in it's got a hole there too a little bubble on the other side and these are very strong hydraulics you gotta push down on them does have a little hitch in the back i assume maybe they were hauling a jet ski or something maybe a small trailer i don't see very many hitches on the back of mustangs dual exhaust out the back the car used to be red Coming down this portion of the car. You got a chunk missing right here.
and then this is separated. You can tell where they tried to glue it before. Let's go ahead and check the interior out. Door panel's not too bad, but this bottom here always ends up sagging and this one's doing the same thing. You're missing a clip there on your speaker panel. Weather stripping looks good. Your seat there has a little rip in it. Majority of it's in good shape. Same with that back seat. Of course, it starts up great. Motor's quiet. And it has had a lot of work done to it. We have a lot of receipts. I want you to check those out at maplemotors.com. Look under the detailed pictures. You'll be able to see that. And I do have financing and shipping available. That was a magic trick. I did that with my head. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, the paint job's faded, really. It needs to be redone. I do thank you for watching. I have financing and shipping available. As you can see, we got two shipping trucks up front picking up a lot of cars today. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. I've got some more to do before I leave. I am going out of town, and I'll be back next Thursday. I'll see you later, guys.